Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's the Caffeine Racer, and I'm down the shed with the E300, um, which is now not an E300 anymore. This is modded, um, and in my last video, we had it set to uh, E350 because that was the type of motor that we were running a 350 watt motor. Um, this is now an E500 because we've got a 500 watt Curry motor. Um, which is brushed uh, not running a brushless system on this one yet um, we are running three power packs uh, which are 36 volts a piece it runs at 36 volts 42 volts at fully charged um, and these are together so I think we get 12.4 as our maximum amp hours um, but the lithiums are great for delivering good power and this this motor is quite special because it takes up to 28 amps worth of flow um, which means I can give this a good throttling for a long long time and this motor is happy to take it. Um, XT60 connectors all the way through to make sure that nothing melts down. Um, the nice thing with this motor is there's no modification required um, and it does sit in in the same place that the original motor does um, which is fantastic. Um, you can see here I've got my internal mudguard. Uh, if you want one of these, let me know. Um, I do sell them on eBay. They're 3D printed and uh, pretty solid, and they just bolt onto the back motor mounts. Um, but what it does, it stops splashes from uh, the back wheel getting up towards the motor and the electronics. I mean, I, I run a plastic cover just overneath, uh, over the top of my electric system. Um, you have to excuse the dust and stuff. It hasn't had a clean for ages. It's just been running so well. Um, but today I've got uh, a cheap Chinese battery pack. Um, and I, it was my mistake because I went cheap thinking, oh, that's a good deal and I'll risk it. And it was blatantly no good. And it, it um, the, the power just drops off really quickly with that battery pack. So I've been very kindly donated another battery pack, um, which is hopefully gonna be better quality and holds uh, the voltage up a bit better when we're riding along, but we're gonna give that a test. Um, currently this one does like 26 miles an hour um, all day long, uh, but with this new battery, it should get there a little bit easier. Um, the, the 500 watt motor isn't as fast as the 350. Um, I got a good 29 out of the 350 motor, um, but this one, it doesn't have quite as high an RPM rating, um, so it doesn't spin quite as quick, but it is torquier, um, and it's very usable, and I really like how this one rides now. Um, 30 miles an hour on a short wheelbase with 8-inch eight, eight wheels, it isn't, uh, isn't the best thing, it can be a bit hairy sometimes, and um, I definitely wear my safety gear. Uh, the one thing I have done recently is I've replaced the chain, and I've also taken out a link in the chain because I was finding that the tensioner was pushing up and the two chains were rubbing together top and bottom. So by taking out a link, it's just giving that a little bit of a gap um, so it runs nice and quiet. Um, and the last thing I've got on this one is I do have a like a set of LEDs which are underneath, like an underglow system, which is remote controlled. I'll show you that in another video. Um, so I'm just going to pop in this new battery and uh, thought it'd be good to give you an update. I will put the model number of this motor um, onto the video so you can see it. I can't remember it off the top of my head and the sticker isn't visible here at the moment because I have a heat sink on the bottom of the motor. Just there, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and that cools the motor down. Um, just trying to keep the longevity of this, this setup basically. Um, so yeah. Hope this is helpful and uh, thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. Um, ride safe everyone, make sure you keep your helmets on. You don't want to come off these things at those type of speeds, they really hurt. Trust me, I've had it happen. <laughs> ¶¶